Hi everyone. Today I will teach you how to integrate the Cortex API to a C++ program. Because the API is a library, it doesn't need to be installed properly speaking. As a matter of fact, all you need to do is fetch the files and then put them in a directory and point to them in your C++ program as dependencies. For the purpose of today's demonstration, I will use the examples program from the Kinova GitHub page as the program using the API. Before we start, if you wish to build the examples program from our GitHub page, you will need to get CMake. You can get CMake on cmake.org slash download. Once there, just fetch the version of the program that is compatible with the system you're using. Once you've installed CMake, make sure to reboot your computer because this will add CMake to your system path and allow you to use CMake functions inside the command line. Once you've installed CMake properly, you can go on Kenova's GitHub page on github.com slash Kenova Robotics. There, enter the Cortex repository. And from here, you can clone or download the entire project. If you are using Git, you can then clone the entire project using git clone and copying the link. Now that you've cloned the project, you will need to get the API. There's a link to our Artifactory server to get the API directly on the GitHub page. Take the API version that is compatible with the robot you're using. And here on the Artifactory server, take the version of the API that is compatible with the compiler you're using. I personally am using the Microsoft Visual Studio Build Tools 2019. Then click download and wait. So now that we're done downloading the API, we will need to unzip it. So we can go here and extract. Once it's extracted, you can notice that we have both a dynamic and a static version of the API. For the purpose of today's demonstration, I will use a static version. Take note that if like me, you're using Visual Studio Build Tools, you only have the release version of the API available. This is not the case if you've took the API version that compiled with GCC. So now that we've downloaded the API, all we need to do to put it into our examples project is to take both those folders, copying, go into the project uh, repository we've copied here. Inside the Cortex project, you go into API CPP, examples, and there's already a folder named Cortex API. Here we can paste. Because the project was already made, the CMake file is already indicating the entire examples project that the library will be here. Once the API is copied in place, you can open the project using your favorite IDE. I am using CLion. With most IDEs, you can open projects only by selecting the CMake file. So as you can see, I can go to the repo where we copied the entire project, fetch the CMake list.txt, and open it as a project. As you can see, the entire project with all its files were automatically imported into my IDE. Now, if you remember correctly, I told you earlier that because I am using the Visual Studio build tools, only the release version of the API is available. 
So I will need to make sure CMake is aware of this. To do this, I go into my CMake options. In CLion, I have to go into settings, CMake, and then I have to change the build type to release. Additionally, uh, specifically for this project from the Canova GitHub page, the CMake will download the API for you. But because we did that ourselves manually, we need to tell the CMake not to go and override the files we put in there. So in CMake options, you can add dash D, use Conan off and download API off. This tells CMake that we've already taken care of fetching the API on Artifactory and putting it in the proper directory. If you are building from the command line, you can add those to your CMake command line directly as is. I hit apply. I should be able now to pre-build the project. Finally, now that the project is pre-built, we should be able to build it. And that's it. That's all for today's demonstration. In the next videos, we will go through the GitHub examples and try to understand in more depth what is possible with the Cortex API. Thank you for watching.